Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and today we're going to answer a question that we get quite often. How do you install the surface mount diffuser? Less than 10% of the diffusers we sell are surface mount, so many contractors may never have had to install a surface mount diffuser into a hard ceiling. Ceiling diffusers aren't usually available with screw holes in the face like many grills, so how do you install a surface mount diffuser? So the most important thing to know about installing a surface mount diffuser is that they require additional framing. We're often asked about installation after the sheetrock goes in and by then it's too late to put the framing in without tearing into the ceiling. And that's bad. And that's when we get the call. How do I install this surface mount diffuser? So let's start with the sheetrock ceiling. The sheetrock is mounted to ceiling joist. The joists are usually parallel to each other and two to three feet apart. You'll want to mount the diffuser framing on top of and perpendicular to the joist. Center the framing over where the diffuser will go and make sure that there's enough room for the inlet and back pan to fit. Remember, you want the diffuser to sit flush against the sheetrock after it's screwed into the framing. So next, let's look at installing the diffuser itself. Let's start by drawing a diffuser in side view. What you'll want to do is take the face off the diffuser so that you can work with just the back pan. Next, you'll connect the ductwork to the neck of the diffuser, and then put the back pan up into the ceiling so that the edges of the back pan are flush with the sheetrock. Now secure the back pan to your framing using screws and put them in a place on this flat area of the back pan but somewhere that they're not visible from the face of the diffuser. And then just put the face back on your diffuser. So quick note on the ductwork. You want the best possible inlet conditions when you install your diffuser. Let me move this out of the way just a little bit so I have some room. So you want to make sure you have good airflow and sound performance. Since you need a little bit of extra length of flex duct to mount it to the diffuser before you put it up into the ceiling, we recommend using FlexRite to ensure the best inlet conditions possible for your installation. FlexRite supports the flex duct in a soft 90 degree bend of the inlet that gives you good inlet conditions. Okay, in case my drawing skills aren't good enough to give you an idea of how this should look, here's an actual drawing of the framing and the diffuser placed up against it in the ceiling. So now let's go back to our guy with the diffuser looking at the hole in the sheetrock ceiling. So what do you do if the sheetrock has already been installed and you don't want to rip it out to install the framing? That's where the TRM rapid mount trim frame comes in handy. The TRM mounts to the sheetrock ceiling using adjustable fastening clips. It kind of looks like this from the side. And the ceiling would fit in right here. It allows you to drop in a lay-in diffuser like you would in a normal ceiling grid, but you use it in a sheetrock ceiling. It also gives you the bonus of having an access door into your sheetrock ceiling. So that's how you'd install a surface mount diffuser. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.